with 10 tons of equipment to test. It's early, it's Sunday. We don't have any kids, which is a first for a long time. We're going for breakfast. I said I was going to start it again. Everything's about you, Al. I know, it's my vlog. Uh -huh. Dart. What are you, an Asian tourist? <laughs> Matt, <laughs> you better cut that out. I will cut that, that out. That is awful, Smith. We slept in a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I'm up, well for me it was sleeping in. Yeah, for you it's a lot of sleeping in. So we're gonna go downtown and we're gonna get me a coffee at Discovery, go figure. And then we're gonna go out and find a breakfast place to go to. We have Ginger though, so we have our fifth child, fourth child. Yeah, so our new requirements for a Sunday place for breakfast includes Al dining a la carte. I mean, or can we have a dog? No, not a la carte. Alan cart. Uh huh. No. <laughs> Al fresco. <laughs> Al. Fresco. Al, so you have to eat outside. Dino. Fold it over. <laughs> oh, now I gotta wipe my lens. field for a little bit. This is new for me. I haven't seen her really be off leash much. Yeah. Ginger got in trouble. Yeah. Ginger wouldn't come back. Teresa had to chase her out of the park. How much I enjoyed watching her try to get the dog back. That was great. You know what you should leave when someone pulls out bagpipes? Time to go. That's gonna make a lot of noise. They can have second breakfast, we can too. They forgot the double sausage we ordered, they forgot to bring tea, and I found a bug in my salad. Not their finest moment. Been there before, don't wanna knock them too much. Teresa's pooping the dog, so instead of being sitting there being bored, I'm riding my scooter. Doo doo doo, city cam. jumped over to the studio now because we have to clean out the studio because we're having a punk show in there tonight. So if you're in a punk, come down to my studio tonight. But this will be tomorrow, so you'll be too late, so don't bother. But we gotta pack up all the stuff from Tracy's open house thing last night, so it's ready for truck. I have to weigh the Jeep kitchen to find out, to get accurate quotes on how much it'll cost to ship it to different places because we've got interest from Dubai and New York and a bunch of different places throughout North America and even other places in the world. So what I have to do now is 
go and find something that will weigh the Jeep kitchen. I know that there's roughly 100 pounds of metal in it. I know there's probably another 100 pounds of drawer slides in it, but I gotta weigh the whole thing together to really know. And then I gotta build a crate uh, to be able to ship it long distances in cheaply and then weigh that to see what that'll add to the overall weight of shipping. So that's my task right now. I'm running Canadian Tire because I think they sell a big game like scale to weigh like moose and deer and stuff like that. I love this fountain. I'm glad it came back. Some truck driver drove his truck over it and killed it and they finally fixed it. Yay, we're here. Good old Canadian Tire. I'm taking the scooter shopping. Wonder if I can get in here without dying. I have to find hunting stuff, because where there's hunting stuff, there will be a scale. I see firearms. There was no scales with the hunting stuff, so I don't know where it is. Oh, camouflage gear. This is hunting stuff. Oh, there it is. So apparently this will weigh accurately up to 440 pounds. That's perfect. Okay, we're out of here. That guy's scary up there. All this camo freaks me out. Makes me want to go hide in the woods. Thank you. Awesome, thank you. thank you very much. Right. Have a good day. I love going through the store on that because everyone's always like, look at that, I've never seen that before. You make all kinds of new friends. Perfect for weighing deer, hogs, and other game animal. Yep. I'm gonna hog tie my Jeep kitchen. Ooh. Shiny. And all taped up and stuff. I got some great work done on my vlog. I'm almost done. I meant to have it out this afternoon, but I totally got sidetracked again with stuff. But Trish and I are going to look at a house that was for sale. We're just going to do a drive by and then we're going to head home. I'll finish it. I got like one last scene to cut in and then I can upload that thing and get it off today. And then I'm caught up. So great. Then I got to start tomorrow on editing this one. <laughs> so much going on. Love it. I think it's up here. It was Leslie Street. No, that was a different one. Wasn't it like Mackenzie or Moss or some other M word? We had a great time downtown, goofed around. Uh, I edited my video, almost got it done. We got hungry and we haven't had Thai food for a while, so we ordered some little Thai, so I gotta pick it up. And then we're gonna go home and watch a movie and that'll be our day and night. It was a nice day just to have to myself and have to, for Teresa and I to have to ourselves, it was awesome.